Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring options available for the 2018 Subaru Outback Wagon. Now custom fit vehicle wiring is going to be the solution that we need for getting power to a trailer or a cargo carrier behind our vehicle. Both we have here today are going to be four pole connectors. That's going to be the standard available connector for your Subaru. Uh, these are going to give us right turn and brake, left turn and brake, running lights and ground. Both of them are going to have very similar style plugs here. Now this is from Kurt. This is part number C56040. This has an output of six amps for our tail lights and three amps per side for our turn and brakes. We also have one available from Ticancha. This is part number 118467. This is going to give us 5.6 amps for our tail lights and 2.1 amps for the turn signals and for the brakes. So this is going to give us slightly lower output, although the output on both of them should be sufficient for any of your standard size trailers you will want to put behind an Outback. Now one main difference that we're going to have between the Kurt wiring harness and the Takancha wiring harness is kind of the way they're set up. They both use surface mount technology, which has proven to be reliable. Kurtz is going to be sandwiched in between the two parts of this box. With the Takancha, they've got the same system inside of here. They both are going to isolate the trailer from the vehicle. And this has been potted. So this has a, kind of an absorbent material that will take any of that shock out that sometimes might be transferred into the components. So if these are bouncing around, this one tends to hold up just a little bit better. Now with the Kurt harness, they have a ring terminal ground location that you're gonna use a self-tapping screw to secure. It's not really that tough of a job. You just need a quarter inch bit driver and you're gonna screw that right into some of the body metal there near where you're gonna be mounting your box. The thing I like about, makes a little bit easier installation with the Takancha is that that ground is gonna come from the factory plug. Now both of these are going to have identical plugs. They're going to plug into a port in the back of the Outback. It's on the driver's side. That's going to make, again, installation very, very similar. We'll just have to worry about getting that ground stud located. Now if you have a preference, the covers are going to be slightly different. You'll see this one has been molded on. It's going to offer us protection from dirt, moisture, and things like that to keep those plugs nice and, and clean. On the Kurt, it's a separate style. So this is one that uh, is gonna go down and around it. Kinda just like that. I don't know that there's really a significant advantage to either one, but if you prefer one style over the other, that might help you make your decision. Now, both of our wiring harnesses are designed to go over the rear sill. So where they'll hang out here, easily connectable to our trailer. If you decide to route it outside of your vehicle, you'll see the round grommet located just inside of our hitch here, which will allow access to bring that out and attach it on the rear. Now, both of our options are very similar. They both provide you with the proper lighting functions for your trailer or for your cargo carrier. They're both also designed to isolate your trailer from your vehicle so any shorts won't be passed into the vehicle's electronics. They do have a few things that separate them. When it comes to the installation process, the Takancha is going to be the easier of the two. The ground is already attached to the provided connection, whereas with the Kurt, you're going to have to use the self-tapping screw. Now for overall durability, if your box starts bouncing around or if you spend a lot of time on back roads, we found the Takancha tends to hold up a little bit better because of the potting material. When it comes to power output, the Kurt is going to be the victor here. That means if you're going to be using a larger trailer that has a lot of incandescent lights or if you plan on upgrading to a seven way, this is going to give us plenty of amperage. And that's going to complete our look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring available for the Subaru Outback. 